Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. Yeah, we're trying a different angle on the video today. This video is uh, deals with automatic speech. And you know, everybody's concerned about automatic speech, especially those with aphasia. So let's, let's learn a little bit about automatic speech today. If you know, if you're listening to this uh, message, you probably have uh, automatic speech. You can talk about just about any subject. You can uh, ask for things. You can go to the store. You can uh, talk to a friend on the phone. You can talk to a family member. And it's pretty much automatic. You really don't have to think about it too much. And that's automatic speech. It's what we all have if we don't have aphasia, we have automatic speech. Now, what happens in speech therapy is uh, they do a lot of exercises with automatic speech. And uh, they're okay, but that's automatic speech. Now, speech and language require that one thinks about what they want to say and then they formulate it. And they have to think about the words, they have to think about the order in which to put the words, and then they have to articulate the words so that the words come out clearly. And so, uh, speech is a very complex task, and in speech therapy, if you have a, a bunch of exercises that deal with automatic speech, um, it may sound like the person is uh, regaining the ability to talk, but basically th they uh, are able to just say these automatic words or automatic phrases, and that's not really speaking. So, you know, we've all spent time working on automatic speech if we deal with speech therapy, but really it's not a really effective method to help people talk. And to help people talk, you have to engage them in talking. So you engage them, uh, like we worked with a person this morning and uh, I asked him about what he was gonna be doing today and uh, he and his mom were able to formulate a phrase that they were going to go see Spider-Man. <laughs> and uh, he told me he had scrambled eggs for breakfast and he had a cup of coffee and uh, that he drinks decaf and his mom drinks uh, regular coffee. And we talked about a whole lot of other things. We talked about the holiday. Uh, about what he was going to be doing, not only going to the movie, and he's going to a matinee, but also they're going out to celebrate a holiday this evening. And we talked about where they were going and what they were going to be doing and who was going. Now, these are all related to conversation. When we work on speech, in speech and language therapy. We work on conversation. We don't work on uh, talking about cats or dogs or birds or cows or any of that kind of stuff. We don't talk about hammers and we don't talk about toothbrushes and we don't talk about shampoo and we don't talk about that stuff because nobody talks about that stuff. But what does one talk about? One talks about what they're gonna do today. One talks about who they're going to be with today. One talks about what's on TV, what we're going to watch. We talk about if we want to go to the movies. And we found out even more about the movies from this gentleman. He's going to go see Spider-Man. And when they go to the movies, he likes to have pretzels with melted cheese on them. Okay, so these are all interesting facts and interesting conversation that we do in speech and language therapy. 
And I asked him what his mom usually likes, and she usually likes popcorn. And I wanted to know <laughs> if mom usually buys it by the bucket or if she gets a small bag. And they told me a small bag. Well, anyway, speech is a wonderful method of communication. It teaches us about one another. It allows us to look into the lives of other people and find out what they're doing and how they're doing it and what they think of it, their opinions. Now, that's a heck of a lot different from the standard type of speech and language therapy that unfortunately I started out using and that a lot of other therapists use. Uh, traditional speech therapy, working on, you know, certain phrases and uh, naming things is, is not only boring, but it really doesn't work to help people regain the ability to talk. What helps people talk is the ability to get them into talking, help them say the words in talking, help them ask questions to one another in talking, and those are the things that help people regain the ability to talk. You talk to them. You don't put them in front of a computer. You don't put them in front of an iPad, unless, you, unless that's the last Thing in the world that you have available, or the first thing in the world. You know, you, you can't talk with machines, you can't talk with computers, you talk with each other, and you find out about each other, and you learn from each other, and you tease each other, and you tell each other jokes. That's what we do in speech therapy, that's the natural way of teaching people how to talk get them talking. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and thank you for stopping by to learn a little bit more about aphasia and aphasia therapy and what works and what doesn't. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and down below you'll see links to our website, and you'll see a link to my email address if you want to send me a note and inquire if you have someone that you love who you want them to start talking again, get in contact with me. This is something I've dedicated my whole life to. 46 years of experience lecturing, doing seminars. But remember that I'm a speech pathologist who has spent just about all of my time in the therapy room. So you know, I'm not a you know, I'm not a college professor. Although I've 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 taught courses at the college level, my major focus is helping people talk again. And if you want to learn how to talk again, or if you have a loved one who wants to learn how to talk again, contact us, and we'll share with you some information. We have we wrote a book. We have a, a video program that you can order. We have a mentoring program for you, and not only that, but we also have seminars and certifications for speech pathologists so that they can be certified in the teaching of talking method. It's a vigorous program. It's a vigorous program, and you'll learn how to really help people talk. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist. Please don't forget to click uh, on the thumbs up and um, become a member of our website. Go check it out. Get on our mailing list and we'll share information with you and hopefully get to know you better. Bye-bye now. Until next time.